UT Martin head coach Jason Simpson, Skyhawks coming off a loss against uh, two-time defending national champion, number one ranked Georgia. This week they're going to be at home. They're going to play Missouri State the third straight year those teams uh, have met, 6 p.m. Central Time, ESPN+. Plus. So, coaches, first about a little about the season opener and, and your team uh, heading into this week. Oh, good. Um, you know, I was, I, you know, you lost 48-7, to seven, all right, but, um, you know, you've got to be able to learn some things, uh, you know, even after a loss. And, um, you know, as you evaluate yourself, very proud of the defense in the first half. Um, you know, I think we had four three and outs. All right. So that's that's encouraging. Um, you know, we didn't take a whole lot of risk and uh, offensively trying to limit, um, you know, um, tackles for loss and sacks and stuff. So, um, you know, I think that was the right thing to do to keep us in the game until the, until the second half. And, uh, you know, then obviously you're 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 playing, you know, um, outstanding football team and got away from us there at the end. You know, it was good to see us put a drive together, 12 play drive and, you know, come away with some points. So, so there were some encouraging things. I'm proud of the kids, how they competed. Uh, there, there's some things that we can build upon. And uh, it, was, it was a great experience for the players. Uh, it went like I needed it to go from the standpoint of first time to travel together. First time working on the sideline together with a lot of new players. So uh, we need to build upon that and luckily be at home this week against a quality non-conference opponent uh, that beat us last year. So, uh, you know, got uh, a great week of practice. Well, we'll start with that then. You, know, you play, you beat them in the playoffs two years ago. Had a, had a, They beat you last year. Had a really good game, though. Seems to this is kind of becoming a little bit of a, a non-conference rivalry with Missouri State. Well, uh, yeah, maybe so. Um, you know, we, we play, it's a quality Missouri Valley team. Uh, the new, um, you know, uh, very bright, uh, young, you know, first year head coach who I think a lot of does a great job running, running their defense the last couple of years. So, uh, no, you know, it's I'm um, looking forward to being at home. We we um, over the over the years have, have played well at home. So we need to continue that trend. And what have you seen? They uh, they played an FBS team, too. So what, what have you seen from them? Uh, different than what you've seen before? Got a new coach. So has that changed anything? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they're probably looking at it the same way, you know, that we look at ours. They see some some positive things that they did. I think the game's like 27 to 10 going in the fourth quarter. So they're still within striking distance. Uh, then the same thing kind of got out of hand. Um, you know, a couple of things I'm sure they'd like to have back just like we would as well. So, uh, you know, I think it's, um, you know, quality opponent. Uh, both teams are still, um, you know, yet to, to know exactly who they are yet. And, uh, you know, but like our team knows, all these games count. And, uh, you know, this, you know, losing to them last year hurt us with an opportunity, you know, to get into the playoffs. So a lot of things at stake this week. What about the play your quarterback, his first uh, performance with you? And uh, he, he actually led your team in rushing to it in 120 yards, eight yards passing. You know, it, it, uh, I think he'll get better. Okay. I think he competed really well. Uh, we're, we're, we're getting comfortable with him and he's getting comfortable with us. Uh, you know, finding things that that he can do. Like I said, I got a lot of new new skill kids that um, you know that that will get better as the season goes. So um, you know, every week he's got to take some growth. And but I thought he competed very well and 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 you know took care of the football and uh, you know did some things in the run game for us. And um, you know, so we're we're excited about you know his growth. And not a not this is not a knock on any FCS team you're going to play, but he's not going to see a defense like that again. Is that good? You play that in the first game and kind of see as good as it gets and go down from there, or would you rather him see that later in the year? No, I, I mean that's 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 you know playing them first game, right? No need to, um, you know, you build upon that. No, you're right. Um, you know, didn't get a chance really to get the kinks out in the throwing game because of uh, you know the pressure that comes with their you know just their four man rush. So. You know, still a lot of, um, you know, unknowns and experiences and first for him uh, as, as we go forward, you know, kind of with a, uh, you know, trying to be more balanced, uh, you know, uh, throwing the football. And we did throw it 31 times, but, uh, you know, didn't really push it down the field any because of obviously the rush. And your new punter had quite a good game. He averaged 50 yards on on eight punts. So that's got to be a positive going forward for you. There's your flip. No, the very, very uh, pleased with that. Uh, Aiden had to, has to do all three for us. So, um, you know, missed the field goal. So that was an opportunity to put some points up on the, bo on the board. But he, you know, had to punt nine times and they had to punt five times. Uh, but he did a great job flipping the field for us. We need to continue to do that to help our defense out. 
when you change, obviously, over special teams has been a constant. When you have new places, new people in place, is that something that takes a little bit longer? Or should they be as good as they are in the first week? Or do you think maybe they need a few games under their belt, too, to kind of, the, the you know, the snap and the hold and the kick? Yeah, probably so. Uh, I th- probably no different than any other position. Uh, you know, we, we, we've we got a new kicker and a new, uh, and a, and a new snapper. So, um you know, I, I my hope is that we'll continue. You know, after these three non-conference games, that that we'll be, you know, um, more polished and and defined of what who we are and what the kids can do as we get into conference play. Last question, we'll let you go. Coach said earlier, sometimes the biggest improvements from week one to week two. So, besides what you've already mentioned, is there an area or two that you think your team will make a big improvement on this week? Uh, yeah, you hope so. I think, uh, from the standpoint of, um, you know, defensively limiting big, big, you know, big, big plays, uh, you know, there was, there were some positives, uh, twice Georgia went on 10 play drives. Well, you know, you don't like 10 play drives, but at least we were limited big plays. Uh, we had them to field goals, you know, both times. So I liked our, our mindset and our, our, our competitive nature. Uh, uh, those are two things to build upon. Uh, you know, but limited big, you know, limited big plays. We had 10 penalties, five on defense and five on offense. So those are those are things we got to improve on procedurally. Uh, and then offensively, we got to make some big plays. You can't, uh, you know, against quality teams, you're not going to go 12, you know, 12 plays four times in a row. Uh, you know, and that's just to get 28 points. All right. So we got to have some bigger runs, some bigger passes. You know, it doesn't mean that the ball's got to be thrown down the field 70 yards. OK, but we got to get some run after the catch. You know, and it's a collective effort. I mean, offensive line has got to get the quarterback time. You know, all of it works together. So, you know, when I say more balance, okay, I mean, we only had 260 you know, yards. Um, you know, uh, no matter who we're playing, that's that's very difficult to, to you know, to win. So we got to improve in those things. Well, Coach, appreciate your time this morning. Best of luck this weekend. We'll talk to you again next Tuesday. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate you.